So you're thinking about making a move out to Olympia, but you're wondering, is it even affordable anymore to live in this area? Well, if you want to live in some place like the CJ Lord Manor, this gigantic museum behind me essentially designed for a famous historical Olympian banker, then probably not. But what we're going to do in this video is I'm going to walk you through the exact cost of living right here in Olympia, and we're going to answer every single one of those questions. You're going to stick around because at the very end, I've got some hidden costs that you might not have thought of, and we're getting after it right now. Hey, Chris, myself, and our team, we're getting phone calls, texts, and emails every single day from people just like you and you and you and you, and we absolutely love it. So whether you're looking at making your move out here to Olympia in the next three days or even the next three months, shoot us a phone call, text, or an email so we can help pick that smooth move out here to Olympia. And if you wanna know everything going on in the Olympia market, be sure to hit that subscribe button so you can be the first one in the know. When it comes to living in Olympia, the first question I usually always get is about housing. I guess it really shouldn't be too much of a surprise being a real estate broker after all. Housing in Olympia varies super, super broad. And you have historical homes, you have brand new builds, you have just old seasoned neighborhoods, and you have these new construction communities, you have lakefront property, and you have townhouses and condos. So it's a really broad statement to just say, what is housing cost in Olympia? So here's what I'm gonna tell you. Housing in Olympia is gonna run you anywhere from about half of a million to 1.3 million for a single family home. Now, rent on the other hand is gonna cost you somewhere between 2,200 and about $3,500. The biggest downside to renting in Olympia is that they make it so dang complicated to actually rent a property. In fact, typically you need to have about three times the amount of income just to get in the place, not to mention a credit score that is about the same as if you were to buy a property. And you also have to have incredibly healthy work history. So renting can be a real pain in the ass here in Olympia. So, you know, if that's something you were considering doing, go ahead and reach out to us. We know this place inside and out. I can kind of help you gauge what would be a better option for you. We probably can even get you in a property to buy at the same rate that you'd be paying for rent. That's pretty cool. Now, some of these more historic homes will surprise you. They're gonna be upwards of a million dollars, even though they don't look like it, just because of the area, proximity to the capital, proximity to the water, and things like that. But it should not be hard for you to come to Olympia and spend about 500 grand and get you a really nice home, or somewhere between 350 and 500 for a really good condo. Of course, mortgage rates are gonna bounce around a lot. So what's your payment gonna be? That's gonna be different depending on when you move here, obviously. Now we have a fantastic lender. I'll put her information in the description box below. You can link up with her. She can give you a free estimate of what the cost would be, but you're gonna wanna do that well before you ever, ever move out here because you wanna make sure that as we're searching for properties, when you're coming out here, that we have a good grasp on what your budget is and the type of home you like. All right, so when everybody moves, they're always thinking about the big expenses. They're thinking about what is this new house gonna cost us? What are the taxes on it gonna be, the closing cost? But people tend to forget about the smaller stuff like your groceries. So we're out here in front of Trader Joe's today. Here in Olympia, you can pretty much plan on spending somewhere between 250 and $300 a week when it comes to picking up your groceries for you and your family. Now, what I will tell you is when you are planning on coming in and buying, I do highly suggest that you bring your own bags because a lot of these grocery places are getting rid of bags for consumers and pretty much everybody has to bring their own in or they're charging quite a bit of money for it. So make sure that you do that when you're coming in. Those will run you 75 to uh, maybe a dollar total. So let's go in real quick and let's check out a couple of prices on things here at Trader Joe's.
All right, so we have some uh, breads here. It looks like sourdough is gonna be $3.49 uh, for a loaf. Now, of course, Trader Joe's is gonna be a little pricier than other stores. If you were to hit like Winco or something like that, it'd probably be a lot cheaper for you. But there's some really good deals. You know, bananas are 25 cents for organic bananas. That's quite a bit cheaper than really what I've seen lately, especially in this area. Now, as far as milk goes, here you go. See your milk prices there. So really pretty comparable to anywhere else in the country as far as groceries go. And again, we are at Trader Joe's. So if you wanted to cut this bill down a little bit, you could hit up someplace like Winco Grocery Outlet, something along those lines. Here is some ground beef. Let's check that out. Well, there you go. Hopefully that gives you some kind of an idea on what it's gonna cost you to feed yourself and your family when you move here to Olympia. Whether you're moving to Olympia with a bunch of kids like Chris and I have, or just maybe a partner or maybe yourself, entertainment is gonna be a cost that you're absolutely going to have. We're right now outside of the hands-on Children's Museum here in Olympia. This is a huge attraction, especially right now uh, during the summer with everybody out of school. It also has the WET Science Center across the way there are kids right now playing on battleships and all different kinds of really really cool things over on the other side there but for example if you wanted to come to this museum and uh -huh. spend the day here tickets going to be about 17 dollars for an adult and a little bit cheaper for a kid you can see that those prices posted right here now if this wasn't your vibe and you were thinking about maybe hitting up a movie uh, you're going to be a little over 12 dollars for an adult around $9 for a child, uh, a popcorn and a soda is gonna cost you $14. I know it sounds crazy, but that is just what it costs. I guess the only upside is they'll actually bring it to your chair for you so you don't have to wait in line, which I'm such a huge fan of. Now, if you're not wanting to spend money, there are a ton of parks out here. There are more parks in the PW than probably anywhere on the damn planet and Olympia is no different. They're of course all free to enter. Any state parks, of course, you have to have your state parks pass. I can help you out with that. Reach out to me. It's one fee, stick it in your window. You can go to all the state parks in all of the state of Washington. The Nisqually Wildlife Reserve is out here so you can go out, take a look at some of the species, the animals they have out there, which is a really great option. Lots of swimming as well and things like that around the waterfront that you can do. You know, ultimately, cost of entertainment in Olympia is not too bad. What you're gonna see a lot of people choosing to do is they're gonna go out, they're gonna eat, they're gonna drink, they're gonna end up stacking up their bill on eating out, which is not hard to do here, especially if you throw in a $12 drink here and there. One area of cost of living where I really do feel like Olympia is crushing it compared to a lot of other parts of the country has got to be the cost of utilities. See, back when I lived in the Midwest, my average utility bill was $300, and God forbid we hit summer or winter, it would push up over $450. In fact, a friend of mine just released a video saying he just paid over $600 for his utility bill down in Texas. Well, kind of thinking, okay, well, maybe I save a few dollars here in Olympia, but that's actually not the case. In fact, out here in Olympia, the average person's utility bill is about $156. Utilities overall for a year come out around $1,800 for the entire year. And that is some of the freshest water, best electricity and gas that you can get. Now, other utilities that you're probably gonna be wanting to have like your internet. Uh, I have super high speed internet, obviously for things like editing video, creating content, online gaming, things like that. And we pay about 90 to 95 dollars a month for that and then the other really big utility cost that i think you really have to consider uh has to be your cell phone now i have a business line personally there's like there's six of us on it and it's 273 a month so you can get a cell phone for a pretty good rate here in olympia as well 
makes it very easy to support your family, do things you need to do. And ultimately, I think as you're working your budget out, deciding if this is the right place to live or not, I think that's a really good positive indicator for Olympia. Like anywhere else, taxes is gonna be something that is gonna pop up on your radar when you make your move out here to Olympia. One of the really great things about Olympia is that things like sales tax are actually cheaper than they are in places like Seattle or Tacoma. Obviously, Washington has their 6.5% sales tax, but places like Seattle or Auburn or Bellevue are all well over 10%. Sales Tax Olympia right now is sitting at 9.5% currently. Now, of course, that can always change with things being voted in and whatnot, but it's been holding it pretty steady at that place for some time. Now, of course, you're also gonna be concerned with your property taxes. Uh, talk about several other videos in different areas. You know, the national average is considered one. Washington's is 0.84%. So. Typically someone's gonna have a you know a one to you know 1.4%, a lot higher from places like Texas with all those different school add-ons. Uh, but Washington standard is gonna be point, uh, sorry, it's gonna be 0.84 of a percent for the value of your home when it comes to your property taxes. And those down here are paid out biannually. So you wanna make sure that you're saving money up or it's escrowed in to be able to pay that. That's kind of the main points that I would say really stand out as far as taxes go. A question we get a lot from you guys is what is the cost of education and childcare here in Olympia? Well, schools like this one, Pioneer Elementary, of course, are free for anybody that lives in the school district, obviously. But if you are looking and considering private school, that's gonna be a whole different story. Private school is gonna range anywhere from about 10 to $20,000 a year. Check out this guy just doing real estate deals while we're filming videos. What a monster. Now here's what I will tell you. Research multiple areas and multiple districts look at those costs, compare them to the programs that they have available for your children, and then also look at opportunities for scholarships. There are a lot of them out there that can help pay for private education if that's the way you wanna go. Of course, the Olympia School District does have a great reputation and places like Pioneer right here are good places to send your kids. Now, as far as childcare for the little ones go, this is gonna be varied. What I will tell you is your traditional childcare daycare is gonna run you a little over a thousand dollars upwards of two thousand dollars a month here in olympia so this is something that you're going to want to plan for if you have little guys for sure there are also options like family care and co-op daycares that can reduce that cost so if that is something that you're needing to do those are a couple of options hop on google real quick and see what's available out there for you but ultimately child care is probably going to be a pretty heavy expense the national average is about $850. So out here, you're gonna be paying a little bit more to have those kiddos watched. One cost of living factor that you really need to take into account when you're moving to Olympia is gonna be your healthcare cost. So healthcare costs in Washington in general are a little bit cheaper than they are compared to the rest of the country, which is great. Now with 80% of people who move to Olympia going to work for the government, you're also going to have uh, insurance that is provided for that position. But if you're not and you're just working on your own, you obviously take advantage of the public market. Check that out. We also have Apple Care here in Washington to help with children or folks who might not make as much money. But additionally, just calculating some basic costs for you. A doctor's visit here at the Capital Multicare is probably going to cost you around $115 uh -huh. to visit a doctor. Now, prescriptions can be, you know, anywhere from $4 to hundreds, depending on, of course, what medication you take. So it's really hard to kind of generalize what those costs will be. Now, if you weren't coming here, you want to hit the dentist, you're looking at probably about $100 for a dentist visit. Uh, 250 ish for walking in the door to emergency 
and about 100 bucks to check in at the quick care. Definitely want to make sure you're budgeting in healthcare costs uh, when moving. A lot of people don't make that adjustment from where they're coming from, and it comes back to kind of kick them in the ass. I do love that this area right here is a little bit more affordable though than where I came from and where probably most of you are coming from. All right, well, there you have it. That is the full cost of living breakdown right here in Olympia, Washington. And remember, Chris, myself, and our team, we're getting phone calls, texts, and emails every single day from people just like you looking to make their move out here to Olympia. So whether you're looking at making your move in three days or three months, shoot us that phone call, text, or an email so we can help you make that smooth move out here to Olympia. And until next time, can't wait till you're out here so we can show you around.